In this video, I'm going to be discussing the Add Area feature in Image Extract and also talking about the Replace Area and how they differ. If you have not yet watched the Replace Area video, I highly recommend watching that first because this video is going to build off of what I taught in that video. So both of these work the same way. The Add area is different in the fact that it will only add areas that are not white to the foreground that got extracted by the Select Subject AI, whereas the Replace area will both add areas, but it will also erase white areas. And both of these only work with white screen. They don't work with green screen or any other color background. These are strictly for white extractions for both of these recovery methods. So I'm first going to demonstrate this with the replace area and then we'll talk about it. That message I got said that I need to paint in the define touch up area first because I clicked the button before painting. But we need to, to um, click in here and paint or go to the um, define touch up area layer and then paint the area that we want to recover. Let's adjust it somewhere in there. Okay, so you see that it recovered most of the racket. However, it actually erased these areas that were white. And if we look at the, um, if I undo that, If we look at it before we ran this, you see those areas were not erased there. So by applying that, it replaced the mask area with what we saw on the screen for both the areas that it added to the racket and the areas that it erased. So let me undo this here. Now I'm going to run with the add area. <laughs> Again, I clicked it before painting. All right, so I'm going to um, paint over that area. I'm going to adjust it about the same as I did the last time, somewhere in there. So now you see the racket looks similar to what it did with the replace area, with the exception of those areas that were um, in the racket, these white areas here, those are now not erased. Now there is this little spot up here that was erased before we even did the recovery. And it's important to note that neither the replace area or the add area can recover areas that are white because both of these work off of um, brightness and it's you're recovering things that are darker than the screen. And so for things that are the same color as the screen, these are not going to be able to recover that. However, you could go into your mask and grab a white paintbrush. And oops, I need to, what did I do? Oh, I've got a black paintbrush there. Oops, grab a white paintbrush and then paint that back in. Now you see that little ring around there. What that actually is, is that defringing on the color that actually applied to that edge. So what you can do is go into the mask there with a black brush and paint off that color defringing. Anyway, the, just a couple of steps, but once you learn those, it's actually not too bad to do something like this. Now, a different situation we have is where, if you remember on this, this last one here, the racket was erased. We have a different situation where the racket is not erased, but the white background in the middle did not get erased either. These strings are actually pretty white, so it's going to be a very, very small window of adjustment, but we could maybe make this work. But I'll show you here that the add area in this case, again, I did it again. Okay, fine, and I'm doing that a lot. So I'm ready to talk about the feature and I just click on it without painting. No big deal, we'll get it right here. All right, so if I want to do the add area, I 
Yeah, it's a little bit choppy on the edge, but I mean, for as white as those screen or those strings were, um, you know, that choppiness isn't too bad, I suppose. But what you notice is that this add area did not actually recover this. And so what's going on here, let me undo that, is the, um, the add area, like I say, does not erase white areas. It only adds to it. So that's why I demonstrated that first, because just to show you that that's not going to work where you have white that needs erased. So, but in this case, what we can do, let me go back to my selected area. So if we hit the um, replace area, In this case, it did recover. Now it did make the edges a little bit harsh. We could go in and do some cleanup work on those edges, but I'll show those advanced um, steps in a different video. But um, yeah, that's the difference between the add area and the replace. The replace replaces exactly what you see. Let's do this one more time here. In the replace area, what you see in this mask is exactly what is going to go into your layer mask here. The add area, it's only going to add new white areas to the mask, but it's not going to add new black areas. So it's not going to erase what was not erased before, only add to it. I hope that makes sense for the, di um, the differences between these two and how you could use it in your images. All right, well, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something in this video.